Oh man, this is rubbish. <laughs> Can you hear it? Can you hear it? <coughs> That's the Core 2 Duo choking on the crew <laughs> at 20 frames per second with stutter galore. Although I am kind of doing, you know, a little bit of a nod to the hardware generation here that this was a rival to console-wise by playing it with a 360 controller on this machine. Ay, ay, yeah. Let's see, what do we have for settings? Probably the settings from Monolith, aka way too high. Oh no, 1080p, oh, it's a 1080 30. I'm gonna turn it up to 1080 60 and watch it not make a difference. <laughs> The game has now switched from day to night for some strange reason, and we've switched from 1080p normal to 1080p low mode, and it's not making a difference. Not even hitting 30 frames per second. <laughs> and this is in a city. It would be worse in the forests of the south. Let's try 720p. 720p low mode. We can somewhat approach 30 frames a second, but it's still in the 20s. Yep, like I said, you can't bail out. <laughs> this is like a Nintendo 64 game now. Actually, you know what would make it more like a Nintendo 64 game? What's the lowest widescreen resolution that we can have on here? Oh, that was it. Um, let's see, how about 1176 by 664? <laughs> Oh, there we go. By dropping the resolution all the way the heck down, we can maybe hit 30 frames a second. I got news for you. This game resembles Cruising USA on N64 a lot more than it resembles the crew. <laughs> it is interesting playing this with a 360 controller again. I may have to swap controllers on the main system, Monolith, and play it with a 360 controller. I just got too spoiled by the Xbox One controller's triggers. Now, here's the fun part. You want to know where it's going to be a total slideshow? Let's go down to the forests in Florida. Yeah, I don't care what Green Hand says. The day of the Core 2 Duo is over. Likewise, the day of the Dual Core processor actually being competent for gaming is over. Even those Pentiums with the hyper-threading, I mean... Uh-oh! Uh -oh. <laughs> We're heading towards a crash now! Single digits, baby! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, now we've done it. Game over. Epic fail. Well, like I said, the Core 2 Duo's days are over, as is dual cores, and once the Ryzen processors become more mature products, then, uh, yeah, we're going... <laughs> Or maybe that was a background task. By the way, this terrible performance is with game mode turned on, by the way. I wonder why I'm doing this in camcorder let's play mode. Uh, oops, river. Oh, and it takes time to splash into the river, too. <laughs> what is it, loading stuff off the... No, it can be loading stuff off the drive. It's just that processor at 100% and 54 degrees is completely and totally slammed. Oh, man, look at that. The, 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 the frame rate went down when I drove back onto tar. <laughs> oh man, this poor thing. And look at the GPU up top. It's sitting there yawning because the processor can't get information to it fast enough. This is what CPU bottlenecking looks like. And this is why, if you're going to get a computer from this generation because you're like, oh, let's see what I can squeeze out of a cheap refurb, at least get the Core 2 Quad, like the Q6600 or something, so so it can actually be Dukes of Hazard. I ain't. At least get the Core 2 Quad Q6600, so it can at least be quad core in some way, shape, or form. Not this stuff. <laughs> wow, this is bad. Let me tell you. 20 frames a second, and if it has to load something, it's all over. Now, can you imagine trying to Twitch stream with a horrible setup like this? Not to mention, the graphics are so low. Minimum, uh, you know, minimum uh, screen size, minimum screen size, and everything turned off, low mode. It actually is starting to look kind of like a PlayStation 1 game with all the jaggies everywhere. Now, this is the part where somebody's going to be like, well, if you CPU limited, just jack everything all the way up. 
Okay, let's go back to 1080p while we're in Florida. 1080p low mode in the Florida forests where you get the lowest frame rates in the game. Now everything looks a little sharper, but let's head back towards those forests. Well, if 20 frames a second is something you don't mind playing with. <laughs> Actually, this is a perfect sign of being CPU limited right here because we increased the... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Epic End of the line! <laughs> Load times! This is like Morrowind on a slow computer back in the day gone wrong. Oh boy, oh boy. What are we doing here? The, uh, uh, hey! <laughs> now that's what I call stutter. I'm surprised we haven't had anything blue screen yet. <laughs> So yeah, this is what CPU limiting looks like. Complete and utter rubbish for performance. I'll bet even a Q6600 wouldn't improve things that much for a newer game like this. Uh, yeah. Right. The Q6600 is one of the processors that I'm curious about though. But this is just awful. And it's better material for chilling at Jay's Geek House. So that ends our test right here. I have lagged this thing out long enough and I've stared at that 100% processor and 0% GPU long enough. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Camcorder Let's Play Mode. Welcome back to Virtual Florida. And it's now daytime and there's some adverse weather here. And welcome back to struggling like crazy to get to 30 frames per second. And welcome back to the game looking horrible and playing horrible. None of this made a difference. The processor is absolutely stuck at 100% no matter... Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a guardrail there. <laughs> oh, man. At least we can still use the nitros. That must be like Miami Airport or something like that way over there. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, frame rates in the 20s. Once again, the game resembles Cruising USA a bit more than it resembles the crew. And, again, out of a nod to the gaming, uh, to the console generation that this hardware was a rival to. Uh, don't drown the car. <laughs> again, out of a, a nod to the console hardware that this was a rival to, I'm playing with a 360 controller. Although the analog sticks have less of a dead zone on the 360 controller versus the wired Xbox One controllers that I usually use. What if I can make it to that island? Whoa, cool. This must be the Everglades. Now what about going back the other way? Oh, yeah, you could not do this with a real car because the air intake would have sucked water into the engine by now. Yeah, Everglades, woohoo! gotta be the Everglades. It's, it looks like it's that part of the map anyway. Uh, 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 we killed it! <laughs> Epic fear. Um, game? I went into photo mode. <laughs> I don't know how many H.C. Bailey fans we have in the audience here, but uh, some of you would recognize that line. Game? <laughs> Oh, hell I wasn't driving this Dukes of Hazard mobile through way too much water for this to be even remotely realistic. <laughs> uh oh, uh, yeah, watch out there. <laughs> Hello, this is HC Multimedia J, and welcome back to Let's Play Choke the Core 2 Duo. Have a good day. <laughs> this is terrible. And uh, yeah, so we're struggling to get out, <laughs> we're struggling to stay above 20 frames a second. Uh, let's try turning down the graphics via dropping the resolution. So, do, 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 do. by the way, chilling at Jay's Geek House is going to be this relaxed kind of stuff when I bring it back. Messing around with something like a benchmark or a game or something like this. Basically, I, I should be able to record these things sitting on the couch. Here's the lowest resolution that we can run this thing at without, going wide, without losing widescreen. 1176 by 664. Did it make a lick of difference? No! We're still stuck in the 20s! Come on, let me nitro out of the swamp here. And now it looks like like a Gran Turismo game from PS1. If we dropped the resolution any further, it would have plenty of jaggies for that sort of thing. Uh, we want to go north. Yeah, this looks terrible. This is down around PS1 territory in terms of how it looks. 
But unfortunately, the camcorder Let's Play thing is going to drown out the colors a bit. But on the native display, this looks awful. Now, mind you, Tuxedo flies all over this game in 1080p. Never mind Monolith. Matter of fact, Monolith kind of does like power save mode and stuff like that. I think that's actually the last thing that we should do is check out the power efficiency of this setup. I do have uh, things cranked to high performance as much as possible, but I did leave the graphics card in adaptive mode. And as you can see, 30 frames per second is completely eluding us. We would probably have to go out to the, the southwest in order to get 30 frames a second. Let's try that. Now we finally get something between 30 and 60 frames per second when there's nothing on the screen and nothing is going on. I, oh, well, we, we had 45 frames a second. <laughs> I'm just basically fishtailing the car on purpose so it can actually move on the screen, but this is pitiful. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Frame rates. Well, still in the 30s anyways, but yeah. This is definitely down there with PS1, both in how it looks and how it plays. And also, notice how the processor is completely maxed out, while the graphics card is having a little bit of a snooze there at 26% utilization. Oh, man. Now this is what I'm talking about right here. <laughs> This is what I call a system. A system where 1080p low, the same settings that that Core 2 Duo couldn't handle, only use about 40% of the graphics card and a little under half the processor. Maybe. I'm totally getting my hippie on <laughs> and doing my part to save the planet by not having a rotten, inefficient computer to play games on. <laughs> and it gets even better jack the settings up to 1080p ultra by the way i have fast mode turned on so the processor will not keep trying to generate frames too far above 60 fps okay now the graphics card is actually having to do something but the processor less than half cpu usage <laughs> my kind of system woohoo and that number would be even lower if this was an AMD Ryzen with tons of cores. Oh yeah. PC gaming, baby. Let's see your little PlayStations do this. <laughs> oh look, now the graphics card's taking it easy and not running at 100% anymore. <laughs> All right. That's enough messing around with the crew and that poor pathetic little computer with the silver bullet stuff in it. Why I mess with it, I don't know. Till next time, this is Multimedia J, signing off. Thanks for stopping by.